What's going on YouTube? It's Chief Takes Films, your tour guide on the road to elevating your image. And today, we're going to learn how to cut out an image in Affinity Photo. Alright, so the first thing we need is to grab a picture. Um, you can actually bring that up in Affinity Photo, so let's open Affinity Photo. Um, click on this plus icon and then import from photos let's go to camera roll scroll down and I think I'm gonna pick this image of myself from Vegas um, first things first you gotta zoom in tight as possible not as tight as possible, but you know, zoom in pretty close. So the the tool that I the tool that I use is the pen tool, and then later you convert it to a selection. So I'm gonna show you the the method that I use on Affinity Photo to cut out objects. Okay, first we're gonna go into make sure you're in the photos persona. Go down to pen tool, and just start clicking away. Okay, we go go to invert selection. Once you invert selection, you gotta click on the selections persona. And then once you're here, you can long press on the image and click invert selection. And then from here, you go back to the photos persona. Click on the eraser tool. Make sure your brush is big, your hardness is down to zero, and just erase, erase the backdrop. Okay, I purposely, when you see me go around, I purposely left open the my beard. This process of selecting the hair is kind of, I don't know, it's just something that I do to make sure the selection is good. Now, if you click on, if you click on the selections persona and you click on refine edges, it's gonna refine all of the edges on the image. And right now, my edges are crisp, so I, that's how I wanna keep them. You refine selection, you get all kind of different weird artifacting. So I just want to select the areas that I really want to refine, and that's around my head and my beard. So what I do is make sure I'm in the photos persona, long press, duplicate, the long press, duplicate. That gives me another layer right here. So in order from affecting everything, I go back to the selections persona, click the box, the marquee box. Just make a box around my head. Then long press again, invert selection, and go to the photos persona, click the eraser tool, and erase. Just erase my body. Let me see how big this brush is. Oh, okay, that brush. Make sure your brush is big. Erase my body. Erase everything. So now I'm just left with my head. And if I go into this one, you see that I'm just left with my head on the first layer. Make sure the first layer is selected. Go into select. Make sure you're in the selections persona. Go into the smart selection tool. And just click on it. Select your select my head and then from this point we can go down to refine selections
and then just paint around my beard. I'm gonna do my head and a little bit of my shoulder. There, it refined the selection. Click apply. Now my selection is refined. Long press on it again. Invert selection. Go into the photos persona. Make sure your eraser tool is selected and just erase. So if you want to see what's going on, you gotta you gotta um, you gotta you gotta hide the second layer. So now we can see what's going on. Go ahead and just delete. Well, erase everything around my inverted selection. So I'm gonna turn my my top layer back on. I mean my bottom layer back on. Long press, deselect, and then go into. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put the the layer with just my my head at the top. I'm gonna put that at the bottom. So now I'm gonna select the top layer with my whole body and then go into the eraser tool, make sure my brush is small. And then I'm just gonna erase the top layer to reveal the bottom layer. That way my hair and stuff is selected. I'm just revealing the bottom layer. really just want to focus on my beard um, some areas of my head maybe here but really just the hair in my beard all right now that that's selected we go to this this layers tool and merge down so everything is merged and you're, you're left with the selection that you wanted now let's put a box behind it so we can see what's going on Let's color the box. Click on this circle right here. Let's color the box something that I can see through. Um, go back to the layers. Make sure to put the box beneath me. Now let's zoom in and see what's going on. Now, as you can see in my beard, is some transparency. As you can see in my beard, there's some transparency going on, but that's real life, so. That's exactly what I want. If I, if I put that on the background or, you know, put something else behind me, then you're going to get some of that transparency. Um, that looks awesome to me. A lot better than what I could select with just the selection tool that I was doing. So now, so now that we got this, you know, um, we can do whatever we want with we can do whatever we want with this selection. Um, if you're doing graphics, you could uh, put me in any background you want. Usually I would leave the shadow, but in this picture, um, it had a lot of gravel and stuff in the shadows. So I just took the shadows out. Um, I could always add them back in later on. But while doing graphics, the, the biggest thing is being able to cut somebody out. So. Once you got that, then you can pretty much do do anything. You create flyers, CD covers, whatever you need. So, um, if you ask me, Affinity Photo is good enough to replace Photoshop in that aspect alone. You know, as um, long as I can cut out cut out a subject and get crisp lines and make it look realistic, you know, I can do pretty much anything I could do in Photoshop. So. I'm still teaching myself this program, but this is one of the this is one of the uh, the main things that I needed to learn. As I was doing this tutorial, I learned a lot. One issue being um, you can't do it in the selections persona. The the lasso tool it just gives you too jagged of a line, so you have to do it in a photos persona and use the pen tool. So. That's one thing that I learned while doing this, and that alone just made me confident that I can do anything that I wanted to do in this program. Um, I, I would like to use a freehand tool, but um, I can't really get precise with those lines, so 
I'm going to continue to use the pen tool and cut a subject out just like I would in Photoshop. So I'm trying to transfer everything I'm doing to the iPad. So being able to do graphics and photo editing is wonderful. And I'm excited about what's to come with this iPad and the release of iPad OS. Um, being that we got a true file system going on, the, the sky's the limit now. So. Um, I just want to be a, ahead of the power curve when it happens. I know it's going to happen. People leaving laptops and just getting iPads. So I wanted to make sure that I'm teaching you guys um, that you can live without your, your your laptop. If I can do it and I'm doing professional work, you can do it also. Like I said, there's still some stuff left in, on the videography side, on the video side. So... Uh, I'm going to work those kinks out though, man. I'm going to find some apps to do what I need them to do. I'm already finding some things that, that can do what I need them to do. If you're interested in ditching the MacBook, this is the channel you need to subscribe to, man. Subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll check y'all out on the next one, man.